Hey everybody, this is Arathus and welcome to today's stream. So today we're going to try out Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. Been recommended a few times. And as far as I can tell, and as it's been described to me, it's basically a mod, like basically take Mountain Blade and put it in modern times uh, and in Eastern Europe. So, or an Eastern Europe type place. Cause I don't, I don't think they used any real world maps or anything. Uh, so I've held off on it for a little while just because, well, one, I wasn't sure how well the mountain blade formula would do in a modern setting. And two, I'm not sure I wanted to dive into another mountain blade experience considering how addicted to it I tend to become but hey decided might as well take the plunge especially considering it's a uh, fairly uh, what's it called a fairly inexpensive game so it's like eh, might as well give it a try then uh, normal what the f under what circumstance brought you to the war torn bandit ridden island of Cherniv Bandit ridden. I, that's great. I don't know why I'd come here to begin with. Uh, soldier in my local army. Medic army officer. Dishonorably discharged, but a few loyal men deserted to join me. Became a bandit and created a gang. We target the rich and distribute to the needy. Oh, really? A modern day uh, Robin Hood. Sure. Doctor. Business. I'm guessing this just affects my starting stats. Wealthy and influential family. After witnessing the suffering of my people, I vowed to end the churn of crisis. I will lead the people down the path of peace. We're a group of homeless refugees having recently escaped our town after bandits attacked and burned it to the ground. Hmm. I feel like the top one increases my combat stats, or probably will. And the second one, like it says, just starts me with a few soldiers and a higher... Um, what's it called? higher leadership stat if that is a thing if it's mountain blade type then yeah it probably is a thing hmm now let's go with the soldier then before being thrust into the wars of Cherniv, i thought it was an island what kind of wars you got going on what other experience and skills did you have i used to work as a security guard i was employed as a pe teacher i worked as a courier i was a professional thief <laughs> experience in medicine prominent and key member of the local student union I have a great interest in firearms yes go with that do you have any hobbies that may prove useful for your survival in Cherniv I go out hunting I take up fitness I like to gather my buddies I like getting around making new friends I was part of a local shooting club oh, okay both of these sound useful if I'm trying to build up like starting stats uh, shooting club and hunting alone in the wilds for game. Hmm. Not quite sure which one I prefer. Let's do that one. We go about war in many ways, but what factor do you personally feel is a priority for victory? Uh, our soldiers need to have excellent combat skills. I mean, that works. We need perfect teamwork and leadership for proper cohesion. That works. We mustn't stretch ourselves thin. With reliable logistics, we can keep our armies in the front lines supplied and ready. Well, that's probably the most important one, yeah. With careful tactics, we can outwit them and attack while they're at a disadvantage. Strong economic support is what we need to ensure our soldiers are properly equipped. Yeah, pretty much logistics. <laughs> is the biggest priority yeah and you know what we'll go ahead and use that one alone you spotted a group of hostiles on top of the mountain ahead they haven't noticed you what will you do immediately open fire Eh. make my way to a suitable vantage point and snipe them that's better rush and engage the enemy at close quarters no <laughs> apply guerrilla tactics engage them with a burst and retreat continue to harass eh. Immediately radio the commander of the enemy's radio the commander of the enemy's position and request backup before engaging. We will encircle the enemy. Keep silent and carefully observe the hostiles. I will then plan an ambush where the situation will be in my favor. Ah, uh, yeah, that one. 
Good lord, how many of these do I have to answer? The sound of battle approaches and will soon reach the gates of your village. What will you do in preparation? I agree, dog is happy. Call in artillery, but <laughs> that's a good one. Sell some of my assets and equip myself for the coming battle. Quickly sell everything I own and stock up heavily on food and medicine. Well, that's not going to really stop them. That's just going to mean we have more crap that they're going to steal. Take advantage of this confusion and steal from nearby villagers. Uh, yeah, no, let's not do that. Hire as many mercenaries as possible. Well, you can't really trust them. Our survival comes first. I will lead everyone out of the village with as much as we can carry and escape. That? I mean, if it is just a village and there are, like, armed soldiers coming, for the most part, you're not going to hold them off. You're going to lose. I will not abandon my home and my fellow villagers feel the same. We will train as much as we can and prepare to defend it. That's a long-term plan that works, but if the sounds of battle are already approaching, it's probably a bit too late. The enemy commander must want something. I can perhaps try to negotiate with him and prevent any needless bloodshed. Well, if he has all the weapons and is already shooting stuff on the way to the village, you have no leverage, so his negotiating is give me everything you have and you will not die. And I still may choose to shoot you afterwards, but in the end, I'm still taking everything. That's his, that's his negotiation platform, and we really have no leverage. <laughs> Mercenaries to hire adventurers. You will find one that will slaughter everything. Okay, possibly. <laughs> You know what? Fine. We'll go with the mercenary one. <laughs> Hire the adventurers. Oh, good God. Can we make Howard? <laughs> These are all unfortunate looking individuals. Well, regardless. Howard is back. There's, there's no facial hair slider. Just textures. All right, well. Really? Yeah, I don't think it matters. Let's go. Let's try to find the skullet. I mean, I find that about as objectionable as a skullet, personally. This is probably more objectionable than a skullet to me. Anime hair. Ugh. Good. Okay, I think I might have found the most objectionable one to me. Okay, yeah, no skullet. So he will be Howard in name only. Give him some type of beard. Is that the most impressive beard I can give you? Apparently. Like, I, that is the most ridiculous looking thing I've ever seen. I'd either rather go no hair or, you know, dude who can't be bothered to actually, well, not that one. Where'd it go? Dude who can't be bothered to ever use a comb. We'll give him the, we'll give him Howard's red hair. It's about the best. Let's just say he's trying to disguise himself. <laughs> makes me miss our, makes me miss Howard from Conan. And Total War Warhammer. All right, let's go. Recurring character that we backstory was created for him in originally 
um, Total War Warhammer during our chaos campaign to take over the world. And then he showed up again with a skullet in all of the Conan Exiles series that we created. Basically running away from having potentially burned down, allegedly burning down his bed and breakfast for not just cash, but also to get away from like his wife and apparently also possibly burn the whole town down and kill a whole lot of people. But again, allegedly. Welcome to Cherniv. It's a beautiful land filled with riches ripe for the taking. But you are not the first to come here. The Pazna Front, the Chernivkin Vanguard Army, the Atav Federation, the Uman Brotherhood, and powerful forces have already buried their claws deep into this land, seeking to claim it for their own. What you do here is up to you. Will you play by your morals and save the people from the fires of war? Maybe. Will you seek to plunder the lands for yourself? Probably. Or would you perhaps bring your own justice to these lands, protecting the innocent and smiting all that dare oppose you? Well, I like that last part. The choice is yours. If you need any help starting out, I probably will. The question mark on the upper left corner can help you get your bearings. Whatever it is that you choose to do in Cherniv, remember that there will be consequences. Wars will be fought and lives will be lost. Okay. Apparently they have a lot of troops. Holy hell. This... That is a lot of cities on this um, island. Good Lord. Huh. Okay. Well, let's get started. Is this me over here? It looks like me. Yep. All right. Let's look at our inventory. I start off with a VT 14. Not familiar with that, but let's see. I imagine we're going to want to carry some ammo. I will probably end up killing myself if I use a grenade at this point in time. So maybe we'll just carry that. Eh. Would be really nice if I had some type of scope, but it does not. So we can go to this village first off. And to be fair, That's usually what you do in Mount and Blade is you go and try to find basic work nearby. I can extort them. I can plunder them. I think they'll still beat my ass. I could steal from them and they still might beat my ass. Can I hire troops? Oh, good Lord. I have 6,000 and they, th that's expensive. I can hire basic village gangsters. Okay. Or... Just is there a level difference? Marksmanship five. Okay, I'm curious. Why all things considered, why is there that big of a price difference between the male villagers with marksmanship five and the female villagers with marksmanship five as well? You know what? I'm not going to question it. I can actually afford these two. I can't afford the rest. Zoltis. It might be the equipment thing, yeah. So he has MK14, uh, tank top, old gray pants, a beret, and that's it. Okay. Well, let's see what I got. Uh, okay. Um, parties. Oh, I have to build a squad. Okay. You, you guys don't look like you have anything. Yeah, nope. They just, that's exactly the reason. They have a Makarov pistol and a brown dress. That is the extent 
Well, you guys can at least absorb fire for me while I shoot people, so I'm okay with it. Uh, we should probably get a job, though. Talk to the Elder. Rumors. Look for cities near the villages. Is that technically a rumor? Do you have any tasks? Uh, you want me to collect canteens for you. Oh, no, that's a reward. Three units of beef. And three units, uh, sorry, four units of iron ore. Well, beef and iron ore, then. I remember these quests, and, um... I remember in Mountain Blade finding it to be very difficult. Well, not difficult, uh, time-consuming. You have to get the soldiers and train them and level them up, and it kind of sucks. Yeah, I swear to God, if you... We need beef! You're, you're gonna... You know, we're here, by the way, here, buy this one. Lord, I wish I had 23 grand for that. Okay. So, yeah, three units of beef. They're selling one of them. And four units of iron ore. Gotcha. Well, you know what? Sure, I'll sell that back to you. Howard now has to comfort the women. Uh, I'm hoping to turn them into some type of commandos. Ooh, that looks cool. I have what now? Allocatable points? Oh, okay. From the beginning, the choices I made. Okay. Uh, let's see. Right off the bat, I know the two I want. Increases XP gain. That's nice, but I think right now what I want is leadership and marksmanship. Okay, increase the amount of squads you can deploy by three, every three points of leadership. Okay. Apparently, I can't increase that right now. I can increase trading and diplomacy. Trading. And apparently, diplomacy. <laughs> 40 assignable weapon points. Good God. Uh, I'm thinking just rifle for me. Well... And armor, what do you guys think? Just split the difference between armor and rifle, because I don't want to get up close. Like, that's a bad idea for the leader of this unit. Contribute, yes, maybe not be right up in front. Just a thought. All right, you got beef and iron ore for me? I will take all of that. Now to basically see how expensive weapons are. Good God, 43, 22. Okay, ladies, you're not going to get anything better than your Makarov for a very long time. So you best get good with them. Because Jesus Christ. I mean, I like scars, but... Ugh. 53 grand for a scope. Yeah, again, ladies. Also, don't expect better armor because good God. I can give them hoodies. Should I replace their dresses with hoodies? I'm actually not sure where the game was developed. Although... I believe... Uh, Stahor is probably right. Give me a second. I'd actually like to know. At least give them some shoes. I agree. We should probably give them some shoes. <laughs> 